Welcome to a new episode of the series. It's so good to be back with you guys. Today we're in Stuttgart to walk the Stadtbibliothek building together. As an architect, you have to love how structured the building is and how easy it is to digest for outsiders. It combines very interesting spaces with visually appealing images to the general public. The building has a lot to cover, so let's start. Because of the nature of the building, it requires a very controlled space in light and temperature and the solution they implemented is a double skin that answers those requirements in a very stable way, along with the changing conditions of the day and the year. A very rational and regular approach to sun and use. The same skin and openings all around the space. The outer skin allows light to access with glass blocks and a grid of doors and balconies to the outside, while the inner ones change with the different levels and uses of the library. Also light accesses the two main central spaces from above, in a very dimmed and controlled way. The building is separated in two big spaces, superimposed, both of them sharing same languages, an open big space with above lighting and balconies that look down all around and separated from the outside. You can clearly see some historical references here, like Newton's Cenotaph or the library both from Boulet, huge spaces facing inwards with stands. Curiously, I can also see a clear reference to the MC Escher drawings. Stairs connecting spaces up and down, playing with that perception of the sequence and movement. I don't know if this was an actual influence when doing the project, but I believe it could have played a role during the design phase. Going back to that concept of scenography, I find very interesting the sequence of spaces caused by the stairs and balconies. A library is usually a succession of spaces independently treated, very static and rigid. In this case, he creates that scenography around the use and movement in the building, translated into stairs and connections bringing meaning to walk in the library.
those are some insights and readings I made of the building. Very interesting. I love those spaces and the filter. I can only recommend the visit. Even if you're not an architect, you will enjoy it and appreciate it. Let me know if you agree with today's points and if you like the building. Please subscribe if you enjoyed today's content and to support the channel. I'll see you on the next one.